That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. My head is killing me. My head feels like it's going... These nightmares have given me a mean headache. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. Those wooden planks creak a lot. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go, but it's just me now. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. This secret room is dark and damp. The door is open. There's a secret door here. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced.
What a tremendous view of the town from up here. But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. Now this baby could be a collector's item if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. Here's the opening to the gas tank. There's a crowbar in the trunk. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. There's an old diary inside this trunk. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time, a relic of a dark past, or perhaps a dark future. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied.
This town looks unnaturally quiet. general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. Hi, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at 6. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? old library, a venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. This card really should be kept with the book. You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. Rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. There are a lot of musty old books which are all out of date. I don't see anything of interest. There's a green book with a scrap of paper hanging out of it.
Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. This place looks like no one has been around and tended for a long time. There's no name on this stone. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. The tomb door won't open. It worked. The door opened. Feels like a cold draft just hit me. Or is it just my nerves? There's a clock key among the ashes. Here is the telephone. Hello? Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime.
Hi, Mike. Here's the book that was put on hold for you. That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. I feel sleepy. I think I will go to bed now. Seems like I've had this headache since I moved in. Boy, my head hurts.
This watch doesn't seem to be working. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. There's a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now.
This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. Jay McKeegan. Come here, Dawson. I want a word with you. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. What a cold and uninviting place. I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. Friend of Dilbert's, huh? Come with me, Dawson. This is the inside of a police station.
Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. This must be the neighbor's yard. Coming by, Mike. Main lobby of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. I really don't need to take the pillow. I have enough of them at home. A long corridor leading to freedom. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh Guards Recruitment Center. You're in the Great Archive Chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. I 
can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, this creature will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancient's power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancient. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse. This dark room looks like it is seldom used.
I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. There's a set of keys. Under the rock was a set of keys. Alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real.
The motor starts. This large room looks like a control center. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand. 